Last time on Fire Emblem Awakening. <laughs> I probably should have equipped something else on Odex. He's like, wrong move! Runs up to her. It's like, oh shit, you have plate mail. Okay, so uh, we just unlocked two things. Wireless features have been unlocked. So these are bonus battles on the map, by the way. And now we also have access to shops. So I can now buy heal staves and weapons and other things. This is actually a battle and you have to go through the battle before you can go to the shop, I believe. But we don't need to go to the shop right now. It does sell wind and flux tomes, um, which would be kind of useful. But right now we're not gonna do it. So we did just gain access to the first uh, paralog, which I think this is the paralog for Donald. And uh, I think I'm gonna wait before I get into that real quick because I don't know about using Donald because I don't know really how I feel about villagers. And uh, I think I want Long Ku before I even start that. Because if I remember that mission has quite a lot of Axe users. So, uh, yeah. Aside from that, though, we did gain access to wireless features, which gives us a ton of stuff. First of all, the bonus box, which I don't know if people want me using all these items, if it's okay. Uh, because you get a lot of stuff. I mean, it does wear its usefulness eventually, but I don't know if people are going to be like, Zito, don't use the DLC items. Don't use them, they're cheating. And we also have bonus teams here. And what the bonus teams are, are they are characters from every single Fire Emblem game. And you can basically call them over like, hey, get over here. And then you can actually recruit them. They're not fully customized, but they do have art. So for example, I could get a Nephany. I could get a Nephany. <laughs> and I might, I'm planning on it. That might be our armor knight. But the problem is, well, Nephany is actually only level 18. So that is our, probably going to be our armor knight here. I love how the black knight is a promoted armor knight. Uh, as I've kind of decided already, since we're not using Kellum. So look forward to Neph, because she's coming. <laughs> Lord of murder! Okay, let's see. So weird to do that voice after not having done it for so long. Uh, we do have a support conversation between Sully and Stahl, though. So let's get through that. Thanks for training with me today. It was a great session. Hell no! Ha, huh, giving up so soon? What a wimp. Huh? What? What in the... How can you call yourself a knight if you crap out so soon? I have never heard that term before. The legendary knights who served Marth would never give up so easily. Actually, Marth benched most of them, so, uh... They gave up quite easily. Um... You mean Cain and Abel? <laughs> oh, wow. I don't think I ever saw this support. This is actually really cool that they're referencing that. The bull and the panther from the old stories? Yeah. That's the kind of strength we need to win this war. And it's the kind of strength I aspire to. Nah. Well, sure, I mean, who wouldn't want to be a hero of legend and song? I just don't think I have it in me. I'm more of a mellow type. <laughs> ha! Then take that attitude over to the kitchen, you damn scullery maid. <laughs> I, I love Sully's, like, character because it's so contradictory. You know what? I don't know. I plan to run circles around those rusty old legends. <laughs> You're something else. But perhaps I could stand to be a little more forceful in my training. <laughs> Damn right, I won't stop until I'm built like a bull. Hmm? <laughs> I'm sure you'll... Wait, you're a bull in this... You're, you're the bull in this scenario? <laughs> Got a problem with that? No, I, that's fine. I guess it just makes me the panther, huh? Yeesh, got my work cut out for me. <laughs> Poor Stall, he just wants to lay back and do nothing. Reminds me of, uh... Can't remember their names, but the Cavaliers from, um... Sacred Stones. One of them's, like, super lazy. Okay, um... How much time do we have left in this episode? I don't know, but I'm gonna try and fit in two maps this episode instead of one, because I'm finding, like, I'm not going very fast, and people want more content usually. So, hey, let's begin this next chapter. Two Falchions, because uh, Donald's chapter is going to take a lot longer than this one, so. Forgive me. Prince Krom, please wait here while I summon the Khan. Good. Of course. Ah. <sighs> 
The con is that way? Or is a way? Right. Out training, I'd wager. The cons of Ferox prefer battle to politics. Or rather, battle is their politics. Hmm. A warrior ruler, huh? I can picture him now. <laughs> it's just like a badly photoshopped picture of Onyx's f like head on Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> a giant man of unparalleled thu and his broad chest covered in hair. <laughs> Am I now? Am I now? Please do go on. Uh, huh? <laughs> You're the... Uh, that is to say, the Khan, I presume? Exactly. One of them, yes. The East Khan. My name is Flavia. I apologize for the troubles at the border, Prince Krom. You're welcome, in Regna Ferox. In Printerland. Thank you. But I'm confident we can put that misunderstanding behind us. Is it true bandits posing as Elysians have been ransacking your border villages? Right. Yes, those Plagian dogs. We found documents proving as much on the corpse of one of their captains. Plegia must see some benefit in raising tensions between your kingdom and ours. <sighs> Damn them! Forgive me, Your Grace. That was indelicately put. Ha! Huh. Damn them and damn delicacy. Here in Ferox, we appreciate plain speech. <sighs> in that case, you should have a word with your damn border guard. <laughs> I'm sorry, I never found this line funny before. Probably because I skipped most of the dialogue my first playthrough through, because, you know, I was, like, in high school and I didn't really care. Please. <laughs> now that's Feroxy Diplomacy. Yes, I like you already. I know why you come, Prince. But, reg but regrettably, I cannot provide any Feroxy troops for your lease. Huh? What? Why not? <sighs> I lack the authority. Forgive me, but aren't, but I don't understand. Aren't you the Khan? Listen. As I said, I am one of the Khans. In Ferox, the Khans of the East and West hold a tournament every few years. The victor acquires total sovereignty over both kingdoms. And that means they have the, fin the final say in, uh, when it comes to forging alliances. The West Khan won the last tournament, you see, and so... <sighs> so we are to receive no aid at all. Not if you always give up so easily. The next tournament is nigh. You see, I am in need of champions. Hmm. That sounds rad. Onyx the champion killer. <laughs> Krom's just like, Onyx, please be quiet. I'm trying to do diplomacy. <laughs> what does that have to do with us? Listen. The captain of my border guard informs me your shepherds are quite capable. Um, yes. We can totally see people holding hammers from 10 feet away. Perhaps you would consider representing the East in the upcoming tournament. If you win, and I become ruling Khan, I will grant your alliance. Why don't you enter? You have a gigantic goddamn sword. Well, I guess you're already a thing, so you can't. <laughs> Never mind, that was dumb. I would have assumed Elysians had no place in such Feroxy traditions. <laughs> huh, on the contrary. The Khans themselves do not fight. They choose champions to represent them. Otherwise, our land would be ripe with blood feuds and dead cons. And we don't involve comrades or kin for the same reason. Over time, it was decided the tournament should be fought by outsiders. Although the outsiders have never included foreign royalty. That I know of. <laughs> Regardless, it's your choice to make. Right. There is no choice. He's con. Many people are desperate. We face not only Plagia's constant attacks, but now the added, the added threat from the Risen. If fighting for you is the quickest way f to an alliance, then we will take up our steel. Right. <laughs> I like you, Prince Krom. I do hope you survive the tournament. Come, I'll show you the arena where the tournament is held. But be wary, I hear an equally able swordsman champions the West Con. It's all right. He shall be defeated by Elise's necessity. Well spoken again. I look forward to seeing if you're equally skilled with a blade. Okay, so this is one of the maps that really kind of caught my eye my first time playing through, and I struggled with it a lot. <laughs> um, I don't know about so much now, but, you know, it's probably because back then I also tried to split up my units way too much instead of group them together. Because, you know, efficiency, but... Awakening on hard mode is you really need to stick together 
and take one corner at a time. Especially since there's no time limit or anything. Okay, so we have a Feroxy, a Feroxy, a Feroxorox. None of them have any weapons except for Marth. You know, Marth. The hero from, um, from Kirby. So, yeah, that's Marth over there. They, they're a lord, and they have a parallel falchion. Marth only. Use this to restore 20 HP. I'm glad it, like, I was fully expecting to come back to this, and they screw it up or something. Like they did with the whole Lafacette situation in Berseria. Where it just says, mm, can only use this weapon. <laughs> but, yeah. Mage. Alright, but we can only take about that many people. <laughs> so, you do have to be careful about who you take here. Uh, Frederick's always a nice pick because he can get you out of a bad situation. Uh, we have Sully, who's also nice because she's a level 4 cavalier and can use iron lances as where um, he can actually use swords. We're definitely taking Chromononex because they're pretty necessary at this point. Lissa, because we need a healer. Although she's low on healing states because I forgot to buy one because I'm smart. Uh, it's okay. We can, you know, just use healing items for now. Um, I'm debating also bringing Muriel, but the problem is bringing Muriel would make me throw away Virion. But there's no flyers on this map, so perhaps bringing Muriel is the smarter choice anyways. So let's do this. Crom, look! Hmm. I see him. Hey. Hey, Edgelord, one question before we begin. <laughs> Fine, then. Our sword can speak for us. I don't know why they ever put this cutscene first instead of at the end. Where did you get that? The grocery store. There's no way. Yeah, that's the shot. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Marth is a gifted swordsman and his men look capable as well. More capable than you pieces of shit. <laughs> we should mind our distance. Danger area. So this is your danger area where the enemies can hit you. Oh, and by the way, when I said the other episode that uh, Radiant Dawn and Path of Radiance didn't have range indicators, I meant this. Like, you can push a button and everything turns on. Not the ability to do this. Let's focus on these little things. One piece at a time. I do believe that these guys charge us, though. So we can't really get out of being attacked here. Um... The thing is, you can use these stairs, but the problem with using the stairs here as an advantage is you will be attacked by three people. Uh, luckily, two of them are axe users, so if you do equip someone like a swordsman here, like, for example, if I put Krom on top of Sully here and then just rode him over here, he is mostly going to be safe. And he will take out one of them, as well as draw another one close. So that's my plan for him. Over here, we do have another axe user. Uh, it's basically the same exact setup, but the thing is, I don't think I can put Onex in that same situation without him being in major trouble. Although Onex does have a sword. Um, he's not anywhere near as tanky as Krom, I don't think, currently. Um, eh, they're about the same. But anyways, Onex will gain... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that the other way around. Oh well. I'm going to put Onyx over here. He won't be attacked by that many people, but it should be fine. And then, as for her, I'll just have her follow these two. So Frederick blocked for me. And this is the one time he doesn't want to help out. <laughs> Save some for me. 
So I just leveled up. We might die here. <laughs> I just kind of realized, but... Oh, yeah, I'm getting super unlucky. Hopefully, Krom can dodge the Hand Axe. Never mind. What? Oh, the Hand Axes are one range away. I'm an idiot. Sorry, I forgot to deselect the mages. Duh. So they can't actually reach us over here, so that's not a worry. Okay. That's fine. Um. Ooh, she can double. So, what I'll do here is I'll move her up and do this. But the problem is they both have axes. So, perhaps a retreat is necessary here. So, we're gonna move Krom back to here. And heal him up. But that didn't heal all of his health, which sucks. But we can't do anything else right now, really. And then we're gonna take a bronze sword to this mage over here. Actually, we take it over to the axeman. No, won't be any better. You're all right. My turn. Oh, at least Onex helped out. That's fine. Yep, strength, HP, skill, and luck. I'm a little worried about Krom, though. Krom, can't you dodge for once? He is so dead. He is super dead. I expected him to dodge at least one time. <laughs> I don't think I've gotten, like, any lucky dodges this entire game yet. What the yes! Okay. I shouldn't have had to rely on dodges if I was playing a bit more smart, but I figured, you know what, Krom's on a staircase against a guy with an axe. He should be fine. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, first things first. She can heal. I need to save some of these healing staves for later, though. And then... Soli can clean up... here. I'm planning on having us regroup back in the center of the stage. Because they are going to start charging us after this round, and I think in two turns they will be within killing range. And that is the situation I think I want to avoid the most. I kind of want to get away from Frederick right now, because I have a feeling he's going to steal the kill. But... I, I guess we really kind of have to. Or I could just transfer... That is not the thing I wanted to do. That is definitely not what I wanted to... Oh, no. Well, looks like we have to... Wait, no. My res is only four. That's right, I chose that as my weakness for fun, which I will probably regret. But, um... Yeah. No, I should live, because he can't double me, so... And Muriel can survive two turns. My steel is yours. So rudimentary. So those guys are getting closer, and we are going to have to be more careful from now on. So, we're going to move to the safety corner here. Let's end this. So here's the thing I'm going to have to do here, is I am going to have to trade, come on, yes, Chronos of Vulnerary, that's enough. 
So item, equip this, then use the vulnerary. Actually, no, the sword would be better. Vulnerary, just puts him at that. And I can't have her suffer a strike from that Axeman. She just doesn't have the health, I don't think. Because he does 16 damage, she only has seven defense. She would take nine damage. She would survive. But can he double her? No, he can't. So she will actually be fine. Unless she misses. No, she'll be dead either way. So I have to use Frederick. Frederick, destroy this mage. Yikes, things are getting close. Okay, well, here's where we have to kind of prepare for the worst. So, Crumb, I'm actually going to have him use his rapier for the first time here. He should be fine in the end. I'm right here. <laughs> yeah, even an axe unit should not be able to hurt him too bad. As for me and her right now, I don't know, I could attempt to move up here and then try to bronze sword this guy, but to what success exactly? Uh, this guy I am worried about because he has 20 attack and she does not have the defense to really survive that. She has the speed though, so I'm not worried. So as long as I get rid of this guy up here, then I won't have to worry. So I just have to get out of his attack range. So here's what we're going to do. Going to attack with me here. Wait, could I just solo? No, I couldn't. Even with her behind me, I couldn't. So we're going to attack with Frederick here. He's going to have to use a Silver Lance. Please don't miss Frederick. Son of a... Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We can deal with this. Uh, we're just gonna have to go to option number two. Which option number two... Is to shove Lissa over here. And then have... Uh, Frederick, deal with all of that. I've been having so much horrid luck this time. Like, all of my units are not dodging 50%, and enemies are dodging like 10 to 20%. This is not like my wonderful starts to some other Fire Emblem series, where immediately it's just like, yeah, look at how lucky I am. This is like, oh, please don't let the whole thing be like this. <laughs> So, I couldn't even solo him if I wanted to. I still definitely need help from Krom. Krom, help me, please. Actually, he might not be able to. Hmm. Well, Frederick, you just keep on working him down. Well, I guess best I can do is stand here and drink another Vulnerary. And then Krom attack? Oh, wow, he can't even do that much damage. I don't know what I'm worried about. <laughs> oh, I meant to... I didn't mean to use the Rapier. Whoops. Best Fire Emblem player in the world. A leader must never rest, never surrender, and most of all, never stop learning. 13 XP, what is, like, I would prefer almost anything else aside from the XP gains. The XP gains here seem so minimal, like they just don't matter. They're not enough. 
At least from the sparkly things. Okay, can Muriel kill that guy yet? Yes, she can. Never fear. Okay. And level six, level four. I should let Sully have this. She doesn't have an axe, though. Or a sword, I mean. When she should. Uh, can she even use the iron sword? No, she can. Bummer. Alright, you know what, Krom, just do your thing. It won't be quite enough, but whatever. If Sully helps out, she'll get a bit of experience. Oh, hey! His stats are high enough to start critting with a falchion now. Finished. I can feel a huge difference. Okay, well, now for us to both heal and start our approach. I want to switch us around, though, so, uh... I'm with Muriel again, because that magic boost I can give her is really nice. As where it's better if Liss is just running around doing whatever. Okay, so over here... Oh, Sparkle. How much damage do you do? You do 24 damage, and your sword is good against... I'm assuming that means Wyvern Riders, but... I can't really see it that well. Either way, we're not any of those things. <laughs> uh, she does 24 damage and has 12 speed, meaning that currently she cannot double Muriel, but her defense is def or attack is definitely high enough to do some really bad numbers to her. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna grab Sully and switch her around to a Lance. Thing is, I don't want Krom to get both of these. <laughs> Little sparkly things. You know, I'll just do this. There we go. Let us fight with honor. May the best soldier win. Stay with us. Okay, Marth. Huh. Hold on, I'm coming. Come on. Nice try, Marth, but it wasn't enough. Oh shoot, I want to get that little sparkly sparkle. Oh, I killed her. Him. I killed him. Impressive, if not surprising. Yay, magic and skill. Onex attained le weapon level D in swords. We missed the sparkle, but that's okay. Well fought, you have my respect. And perhaps more to the point, you have an alliance. I will provide Elise with the soldier she needs. <clears throat> Truly? Thank you, East Khan. <laughs> I should thank you. It feels like ages since I've held full power. Come, my new friends. Tonight we celebrate. I love everyone's, like, Naruto runs away. It looks ridiculous. Like, it's not quite the Naruto run, but it's getting close. <laughs> like, the way their body just arcs forward. Bah, any excuse for a party, and Flava jumps on it. Hmm? Uh, sorry, we haven't met. Yes? I am the West Khan, you so rudely removed from power. You're handy with a sword, boy. I thought for sure I'd be picked the stronger man. Listen. What do you know about him? Hmm. You mean that Marth? Bah, he's just some sellsword with delusions of grandeur. All I know is he turned up one eve and knocked my old champion flat. 
It was love at first sight, and I'm generally too old for such things. Ha! <laughs> uh, anyway, he's gone now. Up and fled the moment the tournament ended. Oh. He's so dark and mysterious. Sigh. Does she have a crush on him? Sounds like Mars at least got one fan, if you know what I'm saying. <sighs> well, I mean, come on, he is sort of dreamy, isn't he? Hey. And you're sort of dreaming. <laughs> Youch, lighten up, big brother. I was just kidding. Shall we then? My lord, my lady, if this fascinating discussion is over, we best return home. I swear Frederick's role is like, oh, are we having fun? Yes. Let's not do that. Uh, what did he say? Right as always, Frederick. Said something else, but whatever. Hey. Old boy, before you go, I have a little present for you. All right. This is Long Ku, my former champion. So, people, I only learned his name was Long Ku like a year ago. I kept calling him, like, Lon Q. Or not, like, Lon Q. It was, like, Lon... It was, like, Lon Co. Like, Lon Company. Like, Lon Mowers or something. Not much for talking, mind you, but he's peerless with a sword. As good as Marth in my mind. He actually has a scene. I don't know if it's official, but I think it's, like, in an, an Awakening manga or something. Where it shows him fighting Marth. To be honest, I can't figure out how Marth bested him so quickly. What? Marth beat him? But he looks so big and strong. Get back. A away, woman! No, no, I'm not, no, not going to give him a silly voice. Hey, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that the ladies tend to put Long Ku on edge. Nonetheless, he is capable. Perhaps he even... He, ah, perhaps he even has the making of a con. Consider him Westferox's contribution to the Elysian cause. Hmm? You're certain about this? All right. Yes, yes, he's your man now. Listen. And Long Crew, you have no objections. Right. He gives orders. I stab people. I think our roles are clear. Good. All right then. Welcome aboard. Cool, we got to the end of this. Hopefully I can fit this all into one episode so it's not like overly long like all my other videos are. But um, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I am too. It's really fun even when I mess up. Um, I think the number one thing I'm not looking forward to is the same turn attacking reinforcements, if I remember that correctly. I think that is the only thing about this game that truly will make me upset. And that I hate that and I hope it... I sincerely hope it is not in three houses, or else I'll lose my mind. Anyways, if you guys like the video, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to become a member of the Dust Brigade, which is what I call my subscribers, subscribe. Just click the button. Click the button to subscribe. See you then. Riding out.